Move them on. Hit em up. Hit em up. Move them on. Move them on. Hit em up. Row high. Cut them out. Right them in. Right them in. Cut them out. Cut them out. Right them in. Some kind of switch being made. But everything looks the same as the first pitch to Michael Mitchell fouled off to the right. There we go. That's the change. Eli Rumbler is now at second base. Taylor Harbin is out of the game. So what has happened to Taylor now? The last thing the Rawhide need is another injury. So we certainly hope Taylor's okay. And we'll have to wait till after the game to get some kind of report. The one pitch to Mitchell. Fastball right down the middle for a strike 0-2. So take Taylor Harbin out of the three spot, insert Eli Rumbler in his spot, playing at second base. No balls and two strikes to Mitchell. The curve ball swung on and missed. In the dirt, picked out by Schmidt. The throw down to first base in time. And one out in the top of the third inning. The long night of the snake bit with injuries the last couple weeks. Colin Cowgill out for quite a while with that fractured hand. Ollie Lenton missed a couple of games and then took a while to get back to his normal self after being hit in the hand with a pitch. Taylor Harmon, remember, was hit on a short hop in his throwing hand with a ball back in San Jose a week and a half ago. He came out of that game, was back in the next day. But now, apparently something else has happened to him as here's the top of the order. Charlie Blackman swings and misses at a changeup from Colmenter. Nothing in one. Now, we didn't see Taylor Harmon go down the left field line. Which normally if a player is injured, they'll make that walk down the line back towards the clubhouse to go to the training room and get treatment. We haven't seen that happen with Harmon yet. The 0-1 curveball stays high to Blackman. One ball and one strike. So that would seem to be a decent sign, at least. Whatever is happening with Harbin doesn't seem to be serious enough that he's had to leave the dugout, at least not yet. But 1-1 one, one pitch to Blackman, fastball, strike two call over the outside corner, one and two. So one out with nobody on in the top of the third inning. It is one to nothing in favor of Modesto. The wind by Colmenter, the one-two to Blackman, breaking ball outside. Blocked by Schmidt, even though he didn't have to with nobody on. Two balls and two strikes. San Jose leading Stockton 6 to 1 at the top of the sixth inning. San Jose trying to sweep that series and go to 3 0 in the second half. Last year they won both halves of the season as well before losing in the semifinals to Stockton. There's a slider swung on a miss by Blackman and Kilometer strikes him out. Back to back strikeouts for Jobs to start the third inning. Well, here's Ronimus Nazario. And for Cole Mentor, he appears to, re to have rediscovered his rhythm. And again, he was able to limit the damage to just one run in that second inning, which is big for him. We talked about it last frame. No multi-run innings. That's the key for him. There's a fastball low. One ball and no strikes. So you hope for Josh that was his one shaky inning that he always seems to have in his starts. And that the rest of his performance will be excellent as there's a fastball down the middle to Nassaria. One ball and one strike. Cole Muncher into a rhythm now. Right back is 1-1 one, one pitch. Curveball line just fair inside the line. Rolling down to the left field corner. Nazario makes the turn at first. Chugs for second. Duffy throws the ball to his cutoff man. Nazario will hold with a two-out double. The throw got through two different cutoff men and then bounced right to Kyle Green at third base. So that's the fourth hit of the game off of Cole Metcher. And just when it looked like he might have an easy clear today, he found it was 14 consecutive times as the pitch to Cox, fastball outside. So Jay with his string of eight consecutive times reaching base to start this series was just barely over halfway to the league record. Still impressive, though. Cole Metcher, the hands together, glances towards second, kicks the leg is 1-0. Fastball, too low, two balls and no strikes. Cox, a big power threat, out of that third spot in the order. Nine home runs, 29 RBIs. He leads the team in homers. Fastball in on the hands, got it slowly towards third. Picked up by Kyle Green, threw to first, inside. Top play for Kyle. He had the one in this area, cutting right in front of him. He lost sight of the ball for a second, but he stayed with it. And he's the play, counting to three on the put-out. And that ends the end. Move him on. Hit him up. Hit him up. Move him on. Move him on. Hit him up. Raw hide. Cut him out. Right him in. Right him in. Cut him out. Cut him out.
Panama. Right up.